Yeah, um, I was riding my bike Tuesday because I now have this new acquired time, free time. Yes. <laughs> and uh, Because you were laid off. Because I was laid off. And you and just have done it so joyously. I just, yeah, yes. you know. And anyway, so I was riding my bike, and I happened to be in deep thought at the time, and I came to this intersection, <laughs> and I, well, it's a little cross-section. There isn't a signal, but I just stopped, and I kind of went off and thought, and all of a sudden, this woman comes out walking along, pushing a um, shopping cart or something, starts yelling at me that, uh, what's wrong with you? Don't you? Can't you see there isn't a signal there? And, and I'm like, I just looked at her kind of in amazement. And uh, <laughs> so I started riding off. And then I said, OK. And I started riding off. And then she went on and started yelling at me more. And uh, so um, I just told her mind her own business. I kind of mumbled something like mind her own business. <laughs> and then... But it made me realize that you know, eat that I, you know, it's, it wasn't just me. It was like each person has their opportunity. It's either a, a cry for love or an extension of love in every inaction that we see with somebody. So, I, I might have failed right there, but you know, there's always opportunity for for me to do it again. Well, you just you just again. chose you just chose again to look yeah. at it differently. Yeah. You know, and you can see that. And to me, how many times do people just are victimized by the world and just get yeah. mad at the world, and that's where it ends. Yeah. You know, yeah. that we look at it again, I think, is just great, mm-hmm. great success. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, my gosh, the fact that you can. And then you don't hold, see, what, what <laughs> I'm, I know I'm, I'm doing a misnomer, but what clogs the universe? I'll just say it like that. You know, yeah. the, the, the Drano, the, the hair clog in the pipe, is when we feel guilty about it. Mm-hmm. You know, when we sit there and get mad at ourselves, because remember my little guilt jar? The first thing we do is we get mad at ourselves that I did this wrong. And then the next thing is, is we won't hold it on ourselves. We project it out. But why in the world did she have to say what she said? Yeah. And I was, was, you know. And all, all, either one of them does what? It just keeps the clog, the hair hair clog clog, in the pipe. Yeah, hair clog in the pipe. And it Mm -hmm. was that guilt that, oh, my God, I'm, I'm doing something wrong here. But yeah. I wasn't doing anything wrong. I mean, I'm coming to the signal. There's no signal here. <laughs> it's just a cross section. There are no cars coming. Right. I could leave at my own leisure. Right. But, but it uh, gives you, you know. a chance to see. You but, know, it's yeah, a I started barometer blaming of the myself. And then, wait a minute. There's, there's, I'm not doing anything wrong here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then we want to say, mind your own business. Yeah. And yeah. then we yeah. go back yeah. to, you know, neither of them were really helpful. You know, so, you know, it gives us an, just another opportunity. So to me, <laughs> You know, and people say, well, you don't make yourself accountable enough. But see, I think we've been plenty accountable. When, you, when we're focusing on the, the light that's within us, the love that's within us, guilt has no place. You know, the Course would say if there is the greatest problem, from the Course's perspective, it's your thought of guilt. From that comes everything else, your suffering, et cetera. You know, and so the first thing we do is we feel guilty. We're wrong. Then the next thing we do real quickly, it, watch yourself. Anytime you get like this, watch what you do. Because we all do it. You will, it's a one-two punch. Me, you. Me, you. And then it'll come back to me. It's probably one, two, three punch. Me, pump, pump. You, pump. Oh, I should only do one. Me, pump. You, pump. And then back to me. You know? Wow! Not for the grand slam knockout. Because it always comes back to me. You know, it always comes back to me. Not me personally, by the way. <laughs> but sort of. 